Emergency doctors across the triangle say they've seen a big drop in people coming to the ER. We've seen a, a decrease of about 40 to 50 percent. Dr. Abi Marotra runs the emergency department at UNC's Hillsborough campus and also works at UNC in Chapel Hill. I know that we as a society haven't magically improved our health status, and I worry about some of our patients um, who aren't seeking care that uh, they may need to be. Wake Med also reports a 40 percent decline in adult ER visits, and Duke Hospital says cardiovascular admissions are down by 65 percent. Our biggest fear is that people are going to sit at home and get sick or uh, even die at home because they're worried about getting uh, COVID if they leave their home. Dr. Rick Stauffer, the chief of cardiology at UNC, says delaying treatment can be dangerous. I had a patient who came in uh, late last week with a big heart attack and the day before he'd been in his cardiologist's office and his cardiologist was very worried about him. He said, you know, you really need to go to the hospital. And the patient said, no, I, I'm worried if I go there, I'll catch COVID. So he went home, and then sure enough, he comes in the next morning with a heart attack. Doctors want patients to know they're taking precautions to keep everyone safe. So we've set up a, a triaging process, basically taking the triage outside. Hospital staff members are wearing personal protective equipment and keeping patients with COVID-19 away from others. The patients should not feel so scared that they can't come to the hospital because they're worried about getting COVID. Doctors say if you don't know whether you need to go to the ER, there are some telemedicine services that can help you make that decision. But if you're having symptoms of a heart attack or stroke, you do need to get there right away. And even an infection or appendicitis can be dangerous if left untreated for long. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. Think that worked?